On June 30th, 2022, the U.S. Naval Academy welcomed 1,187 young men and women as members of the class of 2026. The U.S. Naval Academy Alumni Association and Foundation was there to help them and their families begin to tell their stories. Today is induction day, the first day of the Naval Academy journey. It's a very hectic day, lots of uh, new gear, lots of new people, new faces. It's just a lot, a lot of nerves and excitement, some, lots of tears. Today is a day in which we take a civilian, a young man or woman fresh out of high school, and we begin the conversion process and the transformation into a very proud, confident, gritty, and resilient naval officer to lead sailors and Marines in the future. Well, welcome. We're glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wanted to come to the Naval Academy to basically influence the next generation into doing something great. Um, I found out from the about the Naval Academy actually from my uncle. He was a great help in the whole process. I choose the Naval Academy mostly for the people. I know already with the intense uh, application process, you're going to get a select breed, and that's where the place I want to be. I've always wanted to come to the Naval Academy since sixth grade when my uncle, uh, Command Master Chief Harding, first told me about the Academy. He first told me about the opportunity to come here and to grow and develop as a leader while earning one of the best STEM degrees in the world, and from there I've just been dead set. I was waitlisted my first round of applying here, so I went to the Georgia Institute of Technology and studied aerospace engineering and did Navy ROTC there for a year, and then was lucky enough to get in this time. So. Make your way to the front. My journey throughout and going through the process and leading up to today, it's been exciting and nerve-wracking, and I'm just kind of ready for them to rip the Band-Aid off and start my journey here at the Naval Academy. Your baggage is on the other stairs to the left. Let's move it, flip-flops. Papers, IDs, meds with you. Everyone knows the Naval Academy is a prestigious university, and it's unlike anything else you can experience. Coach Ken, he's he's really he's pushed hard on everyone to become a better person, a better man, and that's that's really something I want to be a part of. It's giving back to something that has given a lot to me, so it's a great honor. I have a lot of people around me that look up to me, um, especially this one right here, my little brother. So I get to show him what it's like and um, help him in the process of hopefully going to the Naval Academy. What are you doing? Do not look at me. Why does Plebe Summer have the reputation that, that, that it does? It's a really tough summer. It's to teach followership. To be a good leader, you need to first learn how to be a good follower, and that is the entire purpose of Plebe Summer. To understand a military culture, the discipline, the regimented schedule, and the gritness, and the teamwork. They're gonna realize that you don't get through the United States Naval Academy by yourself. You get through it with teammates, and this is the summer where they'll bond very, very closely, because they're going through such a very, very difficult time, and they do it together. It's, it really means something outside of me to serve my country. It's, it's, you can't describe it. It's just not about you, it's about others around you. My grandpa served in the Navy, and uh, I never get, got to meet him, but I know he'd be proud of me. You could show up with the clothes on your back and you get all your uniforms issued. You may, you may catch a glimpse of them rolling out with uh, these massive white canvas bags just loaded up with all, all the gear you can think of. And sometimes that'll even last all, all four years. Seven and a half. Hang in there, don't quit. That's my advice to each and every one of them. Don't quit. If you can make it through the first 10 days or so, you're going to realize you can, you can get through anything. Hi, I'm Kevin Stone, uh, president of the class of uh, the Great Bicentennial class of 1976, and I'm here today with another link in the chain. 
My name is Amy Lazak and I'm part of the class of 2001 and I'm also here as the 25 year counterpart to Link in the Chain. I day, it's the day your career starts and your life completely changes. This is a transformational day for these 1185 kids over there. I completely agree. It's, a st it's, it's day one, it's the start and every single alumnus will always remember day one. There's a lot of excitement, emotion, trepidation, and... Um, a lot of it, trepidation. It, the Academy was a foundation of my life today. I mean, it, it instilled values, ethics, teamwork. It instilled everything that I use every single day in my life. Another link is a program that the class of that graduated 50 years, and now 25 years, connects another link, you know, like the anchor chain, uh, connects with the class of 26, with the class that just is coming in. And we'll be with them for all four years, mentoring, feeding them at tailgates, uh, just helping out, and we're going to be somebody they can talk to. If I had one thing to tell the plebes, I'd say honor, courage, and commitment. Uh, but work backwards from it, commit to your life here. You have the courage to get through here, and the honor that you'll have will permeate you and live with you for the rest of your life and be on time. I think the Naval Academy has evolved and it now focuses uh, more on the whole person. Uh, yeah. It's not just the military tactics and the military not professional knowledge, it's a social emotional aspect on being a good shipmate, a good citizen, on yeah. being able to relate to cultures all across the world and, um, and being a good representative of our, of our country and of our Navy. Okay, sorry. Hi. Quickly, at the Alumni Association, the foundation, we do two things. We deliver programs and services to support our members, which primarily include alumni, but also include parents. And we also provide private financial support to the Naval Academy to help with projects like building Alumni Hall, which was one of the first big private capital projects around here. We are your connection to the Naval Academy throughout Bleep Summer and beyond. So if you've not registered to be a member yet, I highly encourage you to join the thousands of parents who have done so. You can find one of these cards and take a picture of it, and that'll take you to a site where you can register, or just go to usna.com or slash parents, and you'll find everything that you need to know. The Naval Academy um, and all the organizations have been great in including everyone. Um, there's so many different parent groups. There are um, just endless amounts of resources. Um, so we always feel in the know um, with everything that's going on. Um, so it, it's really been inclusive um, for the family as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the midshipman candidates of the class of 2026. just incredibly honored that, that he's here today and we're here to support him and, and love him and be there the best we can throughout his journey. He has a driven and then he looking forward to serve his country to achieve uh, greater than himself. Having been appointed, appointed a midshipman in the United States, States Navy, Navy, you solemnly swear or affirm you will support and defend, defend Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, who bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And you take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. You will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office in which you are about to enter to so help you God. We acknowledge you by responding, I do. I do! I've been my brother because like he's a role model for me and he helps with many things like in education also athletics too. He's always someone I looked up to and always like, someone I strive to be. Yeah, I'm going to miss him a lot. If they cry, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> DJ, I'm very proud of you for carrying on the legacy of the family, and I, I know you're do great. Just keep on, continue doing the, the great things that brought you here today. Ariana, you are the most amazing girl. 
I remember walking you to kindergarten. I, I remember just the wonderful girl that you, you've grown and how you want to get back to the, to the country and you've, and you've already given so much to, to the community so far now you want to just take it a step further and we're so proud we really don't want to give you away you know I, I, I didn't think I'd feel like this but you're, you're going to do great you're going to help a lot of people do your best I'm proud of you I love you alright always proud of you always love you you'll do great My message to all the families here in Annapolis dropping off their sons and daughters is thank you. Thank you for trusting in our Navy. Thanks for trusting in our Naval Academy. And thanks for giving their sons or their daughters the opportunity to achieve their goals. It's going to be OK, Mom and Dad. It's going to be OK. I see a lot of nervous faces, but you need to know we've, we've done this a whole bunch of times. They're in good hands. Go Navy. Want to become part of our mission to support the Naval Academy and these great men and women in their calling to serve the nation? Click here to join the U.S. Naval Academy Alumni Association and Foundation or to learn more about us.